This class activity is from your textbook, Intro to Remote Sensing by Campbell and Wynn, and this is just a visual search. What you're going to try to do is you're going to um, take this image here, and you can see that it has a grid associated with it. It goes from A to K at the top and 1 to 11 at the bottom. This is how you're going to locate things. You're not going to use um, latitude or longitude, but you're just going to say where different features on the next page appear on this image. It's just a visual search. So for example, if we look on the next page, image number one is this clover leaf here, this highway interchange. And looking around this image here, we can see there's a few, a few interchanges, but this is the one that matches that pattern. So for number one, we would put in the location B3, because that's where it is on this grid that we put on the side of our map. And you can see they've already done the first one for you. So all that you're going to do for this exercise, I'm just going to make this a little smaller. You can, uh, you can do this in your textbook and then scan it in, or you can do it however else you would want, but you're going to, um, you're going to continue filling this out. So you can either type it in or once again, write it in, but one was uh, B3. And then if we go down here, um, number two, that's this location here where it seems we have a small bridge perpendicular to the river and then another bridge that's um, running east-west here. If we look up on this image here, here's the waterway. It has to be somewhere along there, and it looks like it's right in this location here. So that would be C, and then it would go across this way, 6. So then you would just put uh, C-6 dash in for that one, and then you would um, just continue along with all of the other ones and, and finish filling out this, this form here. This is the only part that I'm going to be looking at, just that you've completely filled out the 12 different locations based on these, these two coordinates for the... Uh, for this aerial photo.